Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Hello and welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell, VWAP. That's what they call it, Volume Weighted Average Price, VWAP. And I've got it right now on the chart and I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can use the VWAP in your trading. And also uh, stick around because I wanna tell you about the platform that I'm using right now. It's pretty exciting. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, first, let's just look at what we have here. We have a one minute candlestick chart and this is Ethereum against the US dollar, ETH versus USD, one minute candles here. Uh, but the VWAP can be used on different time frames. It could be one minute candles, sure. It could be three, five minute candles, daily candles, hourly, whatever you like, all right? Uh, so it is volume weighted average price. It's a line here, but unlike a moving average, you know, a lot of people think of this as being like a moving average, but the moving average doesn't look at the volume. A uh, moving average just looks at the, uh, histori the history of the prices. Whereas this line, the VWAP, which I have in the standard settings, uh, is not only based on the price, but also on the volume. And volume is important. Uh, volume helps to move the price, if you think about it, okay? And so I like the fact that uh, it factors in both of those, all right, volume and price. Uh, but how do you use it? Well, one way is that people will say, technicians will say, that if the candles are below the VWAP line, that is considered bearish. And if the candles are above the VWAP line, that is often considered bullish. Uh, but there's a little bit more to it than that. And so stick around. Uh, I'm going to tell you more about using the VWAP and some tips. Uh, so stick around and check this out. Today I'd like to tell you about Marjex, a Bitcoin-based derivatives exchange and trading platform that gives traders the ability to trade with up to 100x leverage. Marjex provides you with access to the global crypto markets, enjoy lightning-fast order execution, modern user-friendly interface, and very competitive fees. Start trading with as little as $10. And I want you to click on the link in the description below this video to join and get a $50 bonus to pay for the trading fees. Deposit .004 plus BTC to get an additional $50 bonus. Click on the link in the description below this video to get started on Margex. Let's take a look at the platform. Very simple and easy to use. Really everything you need is on one single screen right here. I'm gonna trade right now to show you what it looks like. I'm gonna trade, uh, let's say Ripple, XRP to USD. And I've got the VWAP up there. We talked about that today. The candles on the one minute candlestick chart are above the VWAP. That is looking good. I wanna be a buyer in this market. So I'm gonna put in how much I want in US dollars. I wanna buy $100 worth of Ripple against the US dollar. And how much leverage do I want? So simple here, you can go from 5X all the way up to 100X just on the slider right here. I'm gonna start out really, really simple with 5X leverage, but you can go up to 100X on Margex. And you can either hit the buy or the sell, but since it's above the, above the VWAP, I want to be a buyer. I'm gonna hit that buy and to confirm, hit the buy button, it's as simple as that. I just got filled on my order for Ripple XRP against the USD. I am feeling good about this. It was so simple and quick to do this on Margex. You can do it too. Click on the link in the description below this video, get the bonus, and sign up for Margex for leveraged trading up to 100X. You won't regret it. Do it now. Okay, so we're back looking at the VWAP. And as I discussed before, I've got the one minute candles, the VWAP line on the standard settings. And when the candles close below the VWAP line, that's often considered bearish, not just being below, but actually closing below. So I'm not even really looking at the wicks or shadows so much, I'm looking at the bodies of the candles. And if they're closing below that line, that's oftentimes considered bearish. And if they're closing above that VWAP line, that is often considered bullish. Uh, 
But in addition to that, uh, here's a, an idea that you might want to consider, which is watching for when it gets to that VWAP line, look for that bounce above it. All right. Uh, so look how it's really clinging to that line here. And this is a pretty important line, I would say. And if you don't believe it's important, I mean, look at this. This is uh, Ethereum versus the US dollar, and it came down to that line, and it's magnetized to it for a while, right, on the one minute candlestick chart. And so you don't necessarily want to uh, just go ahead and buy here. You want to see which way it breaks. Will it break below or above? Here it really broke above, okay? Uh, and this is a big break above with this one minute candle and that's really decisive there, okay? Uh, and so that would be somewhere within this candle or even upon the close. If you had bought, you would have done okay because it went up, okay? Of course, you also have to know when to take profits, right? Because it did come back down. Look how it respected that VWAP. It's like a magnet came down to it, magnetized here, and then went up when you had that confirmation candle, right? That was quite bullish. Came down right to it. Coincidence? I don't know. This seems like a powerful line, and then you definitely had a confirmation candle and some serious follow through there. Came right back to it. This Is it a coincidence? I don't know. Pretty important line here. Came down to it. You want to watch for which way it breaks? It broke this way for sure, and you could have bought you know, on any of these breakout type of candles, confirmation type of candles. Look at the wick on this candle bouncing right off of it. Really, really interesting. Now here's one where it came down to it, but then didn't break above it, okay? It was didn't know what to do, didn't know what to do, broke below it, and so you probably wanna stay out of that trade, okay? So hopefully this was helpful to you. Uh, I'm gonna keep on bringing you different uh, strategies that you can consider using. This does not work 100% of the time. It is not a perfect strategy or idea. You want to test things out with demo trading, virtual trading, before you commit any real capital to any strategy. Make sure you make your own decisions, folks. Thanks a lot for watching and listening. I will talk to you again soon.